one inches is enough guys don't let them tell you it's not <laughs> brushless motor it's not plugged into the wall this is amazing it's a mess over here I know Einstein was messy the Evo 3 is long overdue for some love Check it out, dude. Obviously, I got a big old smuggle board worth of stuff right here I want to show you guys. <laughs> so I just washed the car, and per usual, I use these, the Boss Citrus Cleaner from Griot's Garage to get all of the wax or anything off of the car that was there on the paint before. It's been a couple years since I've detailed this car, and uh, I'm, I've been, I'm, it's listed for sale, right? Just because I'm trying to clear up some space and, and, and I kind of want some more rear-wheel drive cars to drift and stuff like that. But anyways, I haven't, really truly cleaned this car in a couple years so if you guys remember i did a huge detail video where i got rid of all these sunspots and some of this this clear coat fade but over time guys it always will end up coming back especially if you drive the car i mean this car i i really have driven a decent amount um so you can kind of see on the wing too like there's a little bit of clear coat peeling up right there i'm gonna fix that today but i'm gonna be trying out one of the coolest products that i think i've ever seen in not only the detailing world, but in just the car world in general. It's super useful. Check this thing out. Grios has been working on this for five years. You guys ready for this? That's insanely quiet. So this is their new hybrid micro polisher and I'm gonna test this out today. So I'm gonna do like a little mini detail. I'm gonna use some new products that Griot's has come out with. And before I say anything, a few things about Griot's. First off, my code, code Shanks at Griot's usually is 10% off, but for the next few days, it's 20% off. That is huge. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. It's a link in the description. It's, or the code is in the description. Just go to Griot's site and check it out. Griot's has been one of the biggest supporters on the channel for years. It's it's because of sponsors like them that I'm still able to make videos. And so I, I want you guys to understand from my perspective that I owe them so much. And uh, I really truly never work with any company that sucks. And I want you guys to love them as much as I do, but it's family owned. I know the owner and uh, literally he, his dad started it. He just recently took it over. It's a company based out of Tacoma, Washington. It's here in the US. I went and visited recently, but all of their liquid car care products guys are made by their own full-time scientists. They have full-time employees dedicated to making their own sense. They're not like other companies. There's a lot of companies out there that will uh, you know, pay China to make a bunch of stuff for them. They'll all get it in a batch and then they'll all kind of split it up and then change the sense and stuff like that. Griot's does not do that. Never have, they never will. Everything you see liquid here is made right here. And they also do insanely rigorous testing on every single one of their products before it goes to market. Like I went to Griot's last June and I saw like, probably like 50 things that you guys haven't even seen yet because they're still testing them. They do long, long-term testing. Like they don't ever sell anything that's not been tried and insanely tested before it goes to market. So everything that you see on their site, it shows you exactly how to use it and what it says on the bottle or whatever is exactly what it does. All their stuff smells good too. So anyways, I want you guys to show them some love and support. I know you guys, you guys don't watch my channel because you hate cars. 
you probably have a car of your own and you'd be dumb to not clean it or take care of it every now and then. Definitely 100% utilize my 20% code right now because that is huge. Anyways, about five years of R&D just went into this thing. I'm not gonna spew nerdy facts at you guys because I honestly, I'm not into that. I just like to test things out and see how they work. So this comes with a one, two and three inch pad base and uh, this little case that it comes with it has a it has the charger in there obviously but you can put a couple of the couple batteries um you have a non counterweight I can't even take it out but you have a non counterweight extension there but I like the counterweight one two three and then you can put whatever your favorite pads are I'm going to end up uh, using probably I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this thing to wax but today we're basically going to be using this thing and i'm also going to be testing out one of their newer products so this is a six inch surface prep pad which is going to replace claying the car that's huge honestly the days of using actual moldable clay on your paint is over their technology and their pads or even their prosthetic clay or whatever you want to call it it's absolutely amazing but the way that a wash goes is you always wash the car you take off all the previous wax if you're doing a full detail then you clay it to get all the decontaminants out and then after the decontaminants are out you can go ahead and start buffing and polishing now what i'm going to do is kind of a spot polish on this car because the car's old and i don't want to tear down the clear coat completely i'm going to find spots on the car that i want to detail and i'm going to see how this micro polisher does this thing has a lot of torque. It, uh, I don't, uh, oscillates? Uh, not even, uh, I don't know what that even is called, but it moves. So weird to reach spots, like if you need to, you know, if you gotta do this whole deal, you can do that whole deal. So anyways, I got a three inch microfiber pad on this. I might end up using a two or one inch in some smaller areas. One inches is enough, guys. Don't let them tell you it's not. You can use it in small areas like this. Super, super useful, dude. So if you wanna polish literally tiny areas like this, that's what this is for. One inch doesn't seem like a lot, but it gets the job done. They've also got a couple more products. I'm not gonna sit here and just talk and talk and talk about, about Griots, um, but they obviously have a ton of different things. I'm gonna go ahead and start testing out all the things I just talked about. So number one, first step, we're gonna test out the six inch prep pad to replace claying the car. The way you know if you need to clay a car is after it's washed and dried, take the back of your finger, never touch paint with your front of your finger, you'll get oil all over it and it's hard to get off. Back of your finger, ready? Listen. If it makes an abrasive sound, it's time to clay your car. you finish claying is when you start polishing now I will after everything's done go over it with just a perfecting cream but I'm gonna go ahead and start using the hybrid micro I'm using, uh, Griot's actually has a super non residue tape that I just used, so I marked that off. Sometimes I'll even use like actual product on the paint since I know I'm gonna be using that anyways, but this stuff helps and it helps you kind of keep track of what's, what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up. One inch right there, that's sick. And then the two inch right here, boy. And then I also have the one that does plug in. They have a bunch of little adapters here, so I do actually have a one inch on this, but I'm specifically testing out this guy today. Oh, and it shows you your RPM too. So sick, dude. So with this, with the microfiber pad, going to be using fast correcting cream, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new edgeless microfiber towel from my stack. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just try the areas that really really need love if you can see it's like it's super kind of distorted so here we go full battery powered i mean look at this it's even got vents so it doesn't get too hot i'm stoked man if, if this if this really works which i'm sure it does if this works as well as i think it's going to it's going to change the game for going to meets car shows like you just take, take this thing in your car and give yourself a quick little okay all right here we go that's amazing 
I can hear myself think right now. So it's definitely uh, filing down some of that clear coat. This is a, a really like big testament to what it can do. Really what I should be using is a really high throw, super aggressive pad. You can already kind of see that I've actually kind of smoothed it out a lot more. Wow, it's not too warm either, so that's nice. Like you can see that I'm under the clear coat, so I've gotta be super careful about that. Obviously it's working, you wipe off the product, you have a nice smooth finish, like the paint, it, it needs to, the roof needs to be resprayed anyways. I've thought about just wrapping it black, which I probably should do. But the point is you can kind of, it got rid of all of the uh, clear coat that's been peeling up and getting air under it and flaking off. So it's a lot more smooth now. So we're gonna do this right here. I'm gonna put about a pound of pressure, which is what you would do for any polisher that is random orbital letting it kind of do its own job. And then right here, I was kind of worried about that. I didn't realize that th what this was until recently, but it actually has filed it down just enough to where you cannot see it anymore. One thing I did want to show you guys, and I can finally reach this area now, inside the wing. Like I always wanted to detail inside of this. I can easily, in fact, since I can do this too, I can easily reach all this. Like, that is so sick, dude. Oh my God, that's crazy. So really the wing needs a wet sanding, but I just want to show you guys just this hybrid micro on its highest setting that's without any kind of wet sanding or anything. It's so much better than before. So the runtime on this was 10 minutes of like full send runtime on this. And uh, what I've noticed is the battery hasn't really changed. Now you can get obviously a few extras because that's just how these things work. At full speed, at max RPMs, it was able to actually do an insane job, especially for it just being such a simple, teeny tiny design. For something that's like so versatile, like you can literally just pull this back, take this out, remove the counterweight, and go straight to, well, I can't put it back. I don't feel like putting it back in right now. You can easily switch that kind of stuff out and it's super cool. But uh, I was able to reach in places that I normally have never been able to reach before. And I think honestly, the biggest takeaway from this in particular is just like, this opens up a huge opportunity for, for detailers and just the car world in general. You know, you don't have to be a detailer to own something like this. Being able to have an orbital polisher always on you if you're at a meet, or whatever, like, I mean, literally at any time. If you're at a car show and somebody walks by you and like scratches your paint a little bit, buff it out, just on the fly. You don't need to plug it in. The fact that this thing has enough torque to do that and is, uh, is, is as quiet as it is and as simple as it is, and again, cordless, absolutely cool. I'm stoked to see where this continues to go, but this product is 100% like amazing as is. Put this bad boy back on the charger, back in its home. Now we're gonna finish it up with just a light polish, get it looking nice. This smells like watermelon, it's amazing. Like watermelon Sour Patch Kids, oh, so good. We're gonna finish it up with this, get it to shine, see how it looks. I'm finishing it off with the ceramic three-in-one wax. If you guys wanna know anything about any of the other products I'm using, I have plenty of detailing videos 
out there. I didn't need to add another full detail to the collection because I've done so many. Check it out, dude. You saw the roof before and it's messiness. putting in so much effort to making a car look good it's nice to have products that actually shine and then make the car look incredible when you're done like this is nuts look at the uh actually I'll go ahead and turn the car off unreal so you can see on the roof now that everything looks so much better the wing looks so good the trunk had some swirls in it. the wing was all done like even down here you can actually see like down here it's so much shinier now the spot that we lost some of the clear coat right here uh from that whatever fluid that was is like it's so it's like smooth you, you literally couldn't tell when you rub your finger on it you cannot tell that there's anything there this is wild like the door it all looks good the roof dude look at the roof bro oh my gosh you can kind of see obviously you can't just get rid of the little fade because the paint and the clear coat like they're going to have different colors but man look at the shine dude i wanted to bring it out to one of my favorite spots to kind of and just uh, kind of show it off in the in the country but oh the sun just came out just for me that's so sweet of you ah it's photo time baby so good while this video really was more of me just testing out the micro polisher it makes me feel so good having a car that's just like it looks well taken care of again the wheels were dirty and what's funny about the wheels is i didn't even really touch them except for like the power washer that's how good their wheel tire and that's the new product as well the wheel tire and mat cleaner brand new product for them works amazing D didn't even really scrub it just kind of fell off those are white wheels too like that's wild i just love griots because like like i said all their products are tested. Like the owner of the company literally brings in his personal cars and like uses the new products to see if they work. And it's amazing, dude. But that new polisher is amazing because it really did do an amazing job clearing a bunch of these little areas up and smoothing out the clear coat and making it better. Dude, I'm telling you, man, get out of here, dude. It looks so good. It looks so good. advice for you today is is something that I I don't actually remember it was going on a jog and going for a jog in college life was like I did not know what was gonna happen at a really bad part in my life I thought to myself just because you can't see over the horizon doesn't mean something amazing isn't waiting for you it's really easy to get discouraged just because you can't see something good happen in your life or or even it's 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 easy to get discouraged because like a lot of times in our lives all the bad things that happen are actually for our own good they teach us insanely valuable lessons it's hard those times are hard but just because you can't see over the horizon just because you can't see the amazing things that are yet to come doesn't mean that they're not going to be there it will be amazing you have to push through though and learn whatever lesson it is life's trying to throw at you right now you can't see over the horizon sometimes but there might be something really awesome waiting for you on the other side of that hill. You guys have an amazing day and I will catch you guys next video. Make sure you guys use my code at Griot's Garage. They're amazing people. It's an insane company. All the products are fantastic and you guys should know that by now because I've shown you. Re-up on your stuff. Spring's coming, summer's coming. You're gonna need it. So use the 20% off discount code I've got for you right now. It's a huge, huge deal. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Ah!